Hey Lewis, just wanted to uh, give you this congratulatory video for reaching 1,000 subscribers. Keep the hot scoops coming, keep the videos coming, keep talking about Impact Wrestling in the best way and, you know, maybe talking about me a little bit, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just congratulations, man, on 1,000. That's a, that's a big step. Now on to 10,000. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carl, and we're here right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. So Tony Khan says a top wrestler will walk through the Forbidden Door and debut on February 9th edition of AEW Dynamite. I'm getting this from Fightful.com. This is an article that came out last night. Uh, so it says, Tony Khan has secured another wrestler to walk through the forbidden door. On the February 4th episode of AEW Rampage, it was announced that Tony Khan will be making a major announcement concerning the February 9th episode of AEW Dynamite. The announcement will wind up would wind up being made on social media and Tony Khan revealed that this coming Wednesday, a new person will walk through the forbidden door and make their debut in AEW. Tony further tweeted that anyone walking through the door is welcome to slam the door in the face of the prior company. And here's a tweet from Tony Khan. The forbidden door can be opened for anyone from any breast promotion in the world, whether or not it's a company AEW is on good terms with, even if it's someone from a company that's open for business, WWE reference, they're also welcome to slam the door in the face of their prior company. So that's Tony Khan. So somebody from, for, first off, I think it's time maybe to stop using the term forbidden door. Uh, I can understand in 2021 when AEW and Impact Wrestling first started working together. All right, you know, the forbidden door is open. All right, fine. We've, we, we've, we've broke through a barrier. But the barriers broke down. I mean, Impact Wrestling's work with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Impact Wrestling, they're working a bit uh, with WWE. Um, the forbidden door is, is kicked in. It's, I, I think it's maybe it's time to stop using the forbidden door term. Um, Ken, it's not 2021 anymore. It's 2022. Uh, there, there is no more forbidden door. Companies are working together. Let's then maybe it's time to drop the forbidden door. But I know he. I think I think Tony Khan. He's um he's using that term because the WWE Impact Wrestling working together recently with Mickey James in the Royal Rumble. So maybe he got uh, he's, maybe he's a little concerned maybe on Tony Khan's part that the WWE is now participating uh, in in um in partnerships with another company. Hence the term forbidden door. Um, the WWE was, of course, the last holdout um, for the whole forbidden door thing. Uh, but it seemed that worked with Impact Wrestling. And who knows, they might be working together again with Impact Wrestling in the future. You never know. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors out there. Uh, but Tony Khan trying to... Uh, Try and the you saw the WWE Impact Wrestling working together, so he's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get back into this. I gotta get back into this. So he's throwing out the term Forbidden Door, and um, he's uh, making a reference here um, to the WWE, and saying that um, anyone who sides with them, they're welcome to slam the door in the face of their pride company. So he's, he's, he was on the, he was on the bandwagon in the beginning with the Forbidden Door. He jumped off the bandwagon, and he saw other promotions working together. And I think he's figured, oh man, I better get back on that bandwagon and then throw the term Forbidden Door. So that's, that's, that's why I feel he's using the term Forbidden Door, and he's saying that I, I don't think he's going to sign anybody. I don't think there's going to be. It's, I don't think it's going to be a Forbidden Door signing. I think it's just going to be a free agent signing. So I, I think this is. I think it's going to be Keith Lee. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be Carrying Cross. Uh, I don't think Carrying Cross will come in like that. Carrying Cross is going to come in. Uh, definitely, Carrying Cross will probably go after Cody Rhodes or something. Uh, but I think it's going to be Keith Lee. I know there's a lot of uh, rumors and speculations about uh, Keith Lee possibly already being signed by AEW. Uh, so I think it's a good bet. It's going to be Keith Lee that we're going to be seeing. Um, there's one guy that I hope it's not, and I know um, his name was referenced on the last uh, AEW Dynamite by Brandy Rhodes, and his contract is coming up. And technically, technically, he's still on Impact Wrestling TV, so you could technically say that it's a forbidden door uh, scenario. I, I 
I hope it's not Josh Alexander. I, when I say I hope it's not Josh Alexander, by all means, if Josh Alexander signs a contract with AEW and he makes enough money, and he's making good money to support his family. Um, I have a, a decent relationship with Josh Alexander. Um, we, we communicate every so often. Uh, he did a, an, a cool little video for me um, celebrating my 1,000 um, subscribers here on, uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, but if he's going to make enough money for an, on AEW and support his family, by all means, Josh Alexander should sign that contract. But me as a fan, me as a fan, I'd rather see Josh Alexander remain in Impact Wrestling. That's what I mean by that. Um, I, I, I think... Um, be crazy for impact wrestling to let him go but i have a deep down in my stomach i have a feeling i have a feeling that it could be josh alexander so it's for me it's either going to be keith lee or it's going to be um josh alexander in my opinion I, that's that's how i feel because tony kind of throwing out the forbidden door um the forbidden door um term here excuse me I'm trying to hold back a cough there <laughs> sorry I take a drink of water. It's it's what time? It's like six twelve. It doesn't matter the time. I'm always grinding here on the on the channel, but um, yeah. So, like I said, by all means, if it's if Josh Alexander can get a great deal for for E W. Uh, from AEW, by all means, he should. He uh, definitely should take it. Uh, and I think, I think, um, if if it is in fact, and again, it, uh, it could be, if it is in fact Josh Alexander, I, th I think he could thrive in in AEW given the opportunity. If he's given the opportunity, of course, and not held back. But um, like I said, me as a fan, I would prefer. I prefer Josh Alexander in Impact Wrestling as a fan from a fan's perspective. Um, but we'll see. Like I said, I think it's either going to be Keith Lee uh, or Josh Alexander. And if it's Keith Lee, it's not a forbidden door scenario because Keith Lee is a is a free agent. Uh, and if it is Keith Lee and and Tony Khan is throwing out this forbidden door scenario, uh, he should um, he should rethink his his strategy going forward, and and not call it a forbidden door because it's not really a forbidden door if if the person is a free agent. You know, in my opinion. So we'll see. We'll see who. Uh, we'll see who this. Um, and, and and Keith Lee, I think Keith Lee would be perfect. Um, I, I think if 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 it, if it is in fact Keith Lee or Josh Allen, whoever it is, I think they're going to win this um, this uh, tournament or this ladder match. They're going to get into that ladder match, and they're going to. Um, Oh, here. So this I did. Let me just read this. This one tweet with a great showing. This is from Tony Khan with a great showing in tonight's AEW Rampage TNT title bout. Isaiah Cassidy is in a qualifying match for a spot in the face of the revolution ladder match with a TNT title at stake. His opponent on Wednesday will sign a contract debut and uh, and debut with AEW Isaiah versus question mark. Uh, so I think it's going to be the Keith Lee or it's going to be Josh Alexander. That's 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 how I feel. I think it's. I think it's 99% Keith Lee, in my opinion, and maybe 1% chance of Josh Alexander, only because Brandy Rhodes referenced Josh Alexander's name and Tony Khan throwing out the forbidden door scenario here. Um, that's why I'm thinking it could be Josh. I, I saw some names thrown out. I saw Moose. His name thrown out there, possible. I don't think it's going to be Moose. I don't think the Impact Wrestling World Champion um, is going to. I don't think it would be smart for the Impact Wrestling World Champion to enter a uh, T a a uh, tournament for um, the TNT um, Championship. I don't. I don't think it's going to because Moose is not going to win the TNT title, and it will be make a make. It will, it will look bad if if the Impact Wrestling World Champion actually loses the match on AEW Dynamite. That's. Um, that's my opinion. So I don't think it's going to be Moose at all. Uh, so I'm saying Keith Lee, and you think Carrying Cross, but I think Carrying Cross is a little bigger than a TNT title. So I think if it is in fact Carrying Cross, uh, it could very well be. It could very, very, it could very. And well, let's 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 go Keith Lee, Carrying Cross, or Josh Alexander. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we'll we'll see um, we'll see what happens next week. But I really think uh, Tony Khan saw Mickey James in the Royal Rumble, and he saw. Uh, so the buzz and the and the and the press that WWE and Impact Rest Impact Wrestling relationship was getting, and I think he was sitting in his office. You know, I, I know he's got a. 
I don't want to be that guy. I know Tony Khan, he, he, he could be a little bit of a whiner sometimes, complaining about this, complaining about that. Uh, so maybe he was in his office and he's sore. He goes, oh, damn it, I got to get back on that forbidden door. I can I get back on the forbidden door train, the forbidden door train. Um, but but uh, like I said, I think it's time to stop using the term forbidden door. That's just my opinion. But uh, anyway, so we'll see what happens next week. Uh, as I said, I think it's going to be, again, Keith Lee, possibly Karrion Cross, but I think Karrion Cross would be a, I think he's going to come back as Killer Cross anyway. Uh, but I think, um, I, I don't think they would debut uh, Killer Cross that way. So I'm going to go Keith Lee. And a very, very, very small possibility that it's Josh Alexander. You know, and again, from a fan's perspective, I prefer Josh Alexander in Impact Wrestling. I hope he stays in Impact Wrestling. I hope it's not Josh Alexander. But I, I just have this little sick feeling that it could be Josh Alexander. Uh, so we're going to leave it at that. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that for now. Anything else breaks, of course. It's early. I got my eyes on the news. And don't forget, we'll be back here at 4 o'clock today uh, on uh, YouTube Live. Talk about anything impact wrestling, any promotions you want to talk about, uh, we could talk about, uh, but we'll be back um, 4 p.m. today, 4 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time, we'll be live on YouTube um, for a cool discussion like we did last week. All right, so until, um, until I'm back, thank you very much. Take care, bye-bye, and stay safe, everyone. So long, bye-bye.